the navigation bar, let's open data sources. Next, let's go into the main data source configuration. The main data source actually serves as the database. Inside the main data source, we can see the default roles and users collections. These are the default tables that come with the system when it's first created. Now, let's create another table called tasks to manage the system. Click on the general collection button. For the collection display name, enter tasks. Then click submit. Now go to configure fields. Add a single line text field. Call it task name and assign the key task name. Create another field of type long text. Name it task description with the key task description. Then click submit. Now we've created a basic tasks table. Finally, click on either side to close the configure fields page. Click the UI editor button to enter the editor page. Under the edit page, we add a page. The page acts like a container for blocks. We add a task management page. Create a task management interface. Go to the task management page. Add a table block. We select the tasks collection we just created. For configure columns, we choose task name and task description. Click the configure actions button in the table block. Click add new. In the add new button pop-up, we make a configuration block. Under the Add Block button, we choose Form and select the current collection. In Configure Fields, enable Task Name and Task Description. Select the Submit button under Configure Actions. This finishes the current Add New Block page Click Anywhere. Return to the page. Close the UI Editor. Click Add New in the Tasks Table block. Input Demo and Demo Description. Click the Submit button. You will add data to the Tasks collection. Go to the Editor mode. In the Tasks table block, we can choose Filter and Configure Actions. Enable the Page Block Filtering. Click Filter. Add a condition. We choose Task Name. Contains 123. Click the Submit button. This will filter the table block. Click Filter again, then click Reset. This resets the page filter. If you don't need the page block filter function, click filter again in configure actions. Close the page block filter. Here we turn it on. In the actions tab, we click the plus sign button. You can make an edit to the current data. We configure the block of the editing interface. Select form edit. Choose which fields to display. Choose the behavior. Here we are in editor mode. We can still modify and submit the data, including any other operations. Click Submit. You can see there's no need to turn off UI editor mode. Data modification is also possible. In the Actions column tab, we can see there's a Delete option. Enable the Delete option. Click on the Delete option. We will delete the only record, demo, in the current data collection. Click OK to delete the data. We're pretty much done here. The CRUD add, delete, update, select actions for the tasks collection. We have finished various operations on the tasks collection. We are currently working on creating a task sheet. We have already become more skilled at configuring fields. Then we need to label the status of every task and make it support adding attachments. Therefore, we need to add a status field contains the following options, not started, in progress, to be reviewed, completed, canceled, and archived, and an attachment field. Now it's your turn to try this out and complete the setup.